Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. Um, I'm going to talk about this right quick before I go in and start my um, start my workout. Um, I know this story surfaced a few days ago, but, you know, I'm going to just go on and talk about it because I talked about it with the brothers in the LDBC. Uh, I've heard other people uh, give their uh, opinions on this, you know, just got through here in the feral speaks. So I'm going to give my opinion on what I think. This is more of a what do you guys think. I'm going to give you my interpretation of what I think of the situation. Then I'm going to leave the floor, you know, to you guys. Now, in case you guys don't know, uh, reports that came out that Dwayne The Rock Johnson will play John Henry in a movie, you know, um, in case you guys don't know, John Henry is a book character slash cartoon slash, you know, whatever the case. You know, I briefly remember John Henry, but John Henry is what you call this tall, the, the epitome of, you know, the tall, smooth, uh, ripped up, you know, black brother. He's... You know, what you call, a, a, you know, he's looked sort of like a black Paul Bunyan, whatever the case you want to call it. But nevertheless, Dwayne Johnson is going to play him in a movie. Now, Dwayne Johnson is currently filming um, the Fast and Furious uh, spinoff with Jason Statham, um, Hobbs and Shaw. That'll be coming out sometime next year. That's in production right now. And I guess Dwayne Johnson will go into that movie maybe next or something else that he has after he gets through with the Hobbs and uh, Shaw movie. But a lot of people in the black community are upset that they picked Dwayne Johnson to play him or Dwayne Johnson has decided to, you know, pick up uh, the screenplay. You know, maybe he's, you know, obtained the rights to the story. But a lot of people feel, once again, Dwayne Johnson isn't what you call. He doesn't fit the description. And a lot of people have accused Dwayne Johnson of basically denying his blackness. And Dwayne Johnson isn't trusted by the black community. Now, I did watch this season of Ballers. Now, I will say this much. This season of Ballers did touch on a lot of subjects concerning uh, blackness, colorism, um, the situation with the, the, the NCAA. So he touched on a lot of subjects that was, you know, close to home concerning, you know, the brothers. But to a certain degree, people not buying Dwayne Johnson's so-called newfound blackness. Because keep in mind, there was a rumor when he first started wrestling. Now, you could clearly see Dwayne Johnson is, is black. Now, he's black and Samoan. He has a Samoan mom and a black father, Rocky Soul Man Johnson. Dwayne Johnson was born in San Francisco, California. Uh, he lived in Hayward for a little while, but then he moved to uh, Miami. He pretty much lived in Florida. He played college football. He um, had a leg injury, so it caused him not to be able, you know, to go to the NFL. And he de then decided to become a wrestler. So, you know, his history, he was in this group called the nation of domination where a lot of people thought he was making fun of the nation of islam it was him and some some you know d -Lo brown and i forgot and i think another dude i forgot who the, i think it might have been ron simmons i i can't remember can't remember who the other dude was because that was a while ago but nevertheless they were saying when dwayne johnson was in the wwe at the time, it was the WWF that Dwayne Johnson went out of his way to deny his blackness. That he was telling people that he was Samoan and white. Now, there always been this thing with 
do some do you consider Samoans black? You know, that's for another topic. That's for another video. Do you consider Samoans black? You know. So, nevertheless, that's a rumor that's been floating around about Dwayne Johnson that he used to lie and say he wasn't black. When you could clearly look at this dude and see that the dude is the dude is black. Okay. But he doesn't he doesn't consider himself black. Dwayne Johnson I mean, he got his name is fucking Dwayne, man. How how I mean for real, man. How I mean, how black can you get? That's one of the blackest names out there. Dwayne Tyrone Jamal Re real talk Will. That's what that I mean, that's one of the most common black names out there. I've never met a white dude named Dwayne. Real talk. Never in my life. I'm I'm serious. But that's one of the issues people have had with The Rock. You look at the characters he play. He always plays a character who has a non-black spouse. Now, I know somebody going to come on here crying, oh, does it matter? Yeah, it matter. Okay, yeah, it matter, motherfucker. Yeah, it matter. So I'm saving you the time of typing, do it matter. So don't come on here. Asking me, do it fucking matter? Because it do matter. A lot of people are tired of this black when it's convenient or black when you around blacks. But then when you ain't around, oh, I'm not black, I'm not black. That happens too much. Because to be honest with you, I'm, I'm going to make a video out and you, I, I, I'm going to make a video out and you sometimes I'm a nigga, sometimes I'm not. Because I don't like that playing both sides of the fence shit. Either you are or you ain't. Okay? Real talk. But this is one of the problems people have had with Dwayne Johnson. You look, I'm serious. You look at his movies. You look at his last movie, Skyscraper. Married to Nabe, Nabe, Nabe Campbell, whatever the fuck her, her name is. When has Dwayne Johnson played in a movie, a full-fledged movie, where he had a a black love interest or a black wife? I can't think of one. Where he actually played in a movie where, I remember one movie he played in where he had a son that was Lily White. Well, he should have uh, he should have had a DNA test. I think it was that movie Snitch. I can't remember what the movie movie was, but it was one of them fucking movies. And I ain't talk talking about Gridiron Gang neither. I'm really thinking, when was the last time The Rock had a movie where he played a full-fledged black man where he said, I'm a black man? Okay? I'm I'm serious. I know Dwayne Johnson on that show, Ballers, are surrounded with black characters and shit, which makes, I guess you could say, attracts people like me to watch the show. Because, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't even watch that show because of Dwayne Johnson. I watch it because of Denzel Washington's son, because Denzel Washington's son, John David Jackson, to me, is the real star of that show. Every He always steals the scenes in, in every every scene that he's in on ballers but like i said i understand why people are upset with Dwayne johnson and why they are mad that he's playing that role you playing a role that's where the character is obviously a, a black man but you went out of your way to kind of distance yourself from being being black and obviously you are Like I said, this happens too much. I don't like the convenient black person. I don't like that shit. Guys like that can't be trusted. Like I said, Dwayne Johnson waits till season four of Baller, season four, season five, to finally acknowledge himself as being a black person. Which he, sh like I said, he's ran from that for years. 
And then I also heard that, you know, I can't reveal the source that a dude has proof that Dwayne Johnson does not consider himself black. When he fills out paperwork, he writes Samoan Pacific Islander. Okay? So that's the problem a lot of people have with Dwayne Johnson playing this John Henry character. He talking about his father introduced him to the character and he loved it as a kid. Well, let me ask you something. Why don't you love your father enough to acknowledge what you are? Once again, for years in the WWE, you went out of your way to, to deny yourself, to deny your blackness or deny your, you know, ethnicity. You would try to have that goofy looking hair trying to look like like Elvis and shit when you looked absolutely ridiculous. You know, real talk. You have some of them goofy looking hairstyles where you'll try to, uh, I mean, for real. It was obvious you could see that Dwayne Johnson was, was black. And I'm not using that ridiculous term, t term, person of color. That shit is whack. And I will, I will not use that word. That is not in my vocabulary. Because when you use words like that, you're trying to minimize the fact that you are black. And you're trying to put yourself in one big pot. Nah, fuck that. Nah, he's black. Okay? He's fucking black. Whether he wants to acknowledge it or not. So, like I said before, I don't blame people for, like, giving him the people's eyebrow. Like, hmm, okay, why now? Like I said, look at all of Dwayne Johnson's uh, movies. When has he ever played a black dude in a movie? When has he ever had a black wife in one of his movies? I'm just keeping it 100. So, yeah. If you wonder why people don't trust The Rock, it's because of this. I've criticized The Rock about that shit. Um, the one LBZ quest made a very disturbing video about the rock and his behavior towards, you know, people that look like us. And I remember that video to his, to, to this day. I hope quest, uh, reload that video because it's very important to what's going on now. Very important. There, like I said, Dwayne Johnson, his attitude is very, you know, problematic to us because he just he tries to get by. You know, he really does. And, and that's not cool. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on The Rock. I, to a certain degree, just don't don't trust the dude. You know, real talk. I'm out.